Oh yay, it is rainy day science with Bernie Claire. Woot woot. Hey guys, I have a really neat science experiment for you today. It's called elephant toothpaste. So here are the things you're going to need to do this awesome science experiment. You're going to need dish soap. Doesn't matter what kind. And you're also going to need 30% hydrogen peroxide. And you can get that at Sally's Beauty Supply or any hair care supply store. You're also going to need active dry yeast. And a measuring cup. And some stuff to put it in. So your first step is to take your measuring cup and pour in half a cup of warm water. It works better if it's hot. Then you're going to take your yeast and you're going to take two tablespoons of yeast and dissolve it. You want to keep stirring until all the chunks are dissolved. Your next step is to pour in um, about a cup of hydrogen peroxide. Um, this is the special hydrogen peroxide. Make sure it's 30%. And then you're going to take um, some food coloring. And we're going to color it just to give the foam a little bit of a color. I have the wrong food coloring here. You really want to use the non-gel type. Mine is the gel type. I don't have any other type of food coloring. So just a couple of drops and mix it around. Um, the gel is not working for this and the foam is going to come out a really light green and I wanted it to be dark green but oh well squirt a little bit of your soap in your jar I'm using Dawn here just do a good squirt here it looks like that your next step is to take um, some more food coloring and make a stripe and I'm using the gel food coloring. It doesn't really work with gel food coloring. It works better with the liquid food coloring. Then you're going to take your hydrogen peroxide solution and pour it in your container. You can also use a plastic bottle. So here I'm using a plastic bottle and I'm going to take my yeast and I'm going to pour it into my containers. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm doing it outside because this gets pretty messy. Just pour in the yeast and step away. Uh, I don't have enough for my water bottle. Oh well. Look at how cool that looks. So what's happening here, the science behind it is hydrogen peroxide is two H's and two O's. And the yeast eats the hydrogen, leaving oxygen. And you can see the oxygen here because we put soap in it. So the soap is capturing the oxygen. Now this is safe to touch because the hydrogen has been eaten, essentially, by the yeast. And so you can touch it and it's actually warm. It's hot. And um, you just want to let it cool off before you actually like play with it. But look at this. This is so much fun. So thick and foamy. Kids love this project. A science project you get to play with after, that's my kind of science project. <laughs> Have fun, be careful with the hydrogen, and get creative with it. Wasn't that really cool? Um, it's a really fun science experiment, and if you want to include the science part of it, you can talk about exothermic reactions, because it's actually hot when you touch the bubbles, it's warm. And um, while, while it's going, you can actually see the steam rising up. Um, you can also talk about gases and liquids and how they take the shape of their container. It's a pretty neat and fun experiment, and you get to play with it afterwards. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I have tons of craft ideas, fun things to do, do-it-yourself gifts, and just tons of ideas to do when you're bored.